Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual aviation aviator, and today I am back in the 737, the Zebo Mod 737, but I got a really good treat for you. Today, I am learning to fly this thing. Okay, so this is the scenario. I don't know how to fly the 737, and I want to learn. So... I got too much pride to to ask for help or maybe I just don't know anybody who I can ask for help. Yeah, I've watched some videos and and you know I can get the tips off the videos but then when I come back to the airplane to apply what I think I've learned it just don't work out the way that that I want it to. So what's a man to do or what's a person to do okay so there is a program called fly shirley and i know the name sounds kind of funny but it's um it's fly shirley that it's well i guess the the let's see how can i say this it's fly shirley.com is where you can get the program but the character that's going to help me which is artificial intelligence AI powered by some LLM I'm not sure whether it's chat GPT or some other LLM but uh, but it's truly pow powered by something on the back end and it's awesome anyway we're going to use it to teach me how to fly this 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 737 um, so in full disclosure, I went through this today, uh, earlier, and I had so much fun with it that I thought I would share it with you guys. So yeah, I'm not going to do a real flight per se, but, um, but just bear with me. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is get the Fly Shirley program. Now I've already signed up and I have a subscription and this is what the screen looked like and it's simple that's all it is to it all i gotta do is click start my call now i before i start my call i might want to pick what aircraft i'm in and um additional aircrafts are, al are always coming online incidentally the developers of this this program uh alex and sebastian are great and they are willing to listen to get what community feedback they can to make the program better but I digress all right let's get back to the uh, 737 so I'm gonna hit start your call airplane teammate is up Mike check when ready okay I'm hoping you guys can hear that Loud and clear. Shirley back in a Boeing 730. Well, I know you can hear me, Shirley. I was hoping that the guys who I'm talking to could hear me. Got it. If you need anything, I'm here. Okay. Cool. Roger that. Anything specific you need help with? Yeah. So today, I want you to help me learn how to fly the Boeing 737 NG800. Okay, before you say Absolute. anything, before you say anything, just hear me out. All right, so I'm going to be the student. Well, not the student per se, but I am going to be the pilot, and you are going to help me with the items step by step. So we're going to go really slow, and you're going to present things to me one item at a time and when i do that item i'm gonna say check okay understood i'll guide you step by step one item at a time when you're ready say ready for the first item okay so ready for the first item well i probably should say this too so i think that yeah I think that that 
we're going to break things down into categories and they're going to be as follows. Um, we're going to do the, and I did make a note here, guys. So, so, well, mute yourself, Shirley. Cool beans. So, I did make a check, a guidelines because Shirley is just learning this stuff too. So, you know, um, one thing that we all know about LLMs is that they tend to have to learn stuff also. Um, I don't know what, how much of what Shirley learns she's going to retain, but Unmute. I don't no, don't unmute yet. Muted. Standing by for unmute, Shirley, airplane, or teammate. Great. Okay, so... Un um, now, d mute. Muted. Standing by for unmute, Shirley, airplane, or teammate. Okay, I think we got that sorted out. Unmute. I think we got that sorted out. Roger that. Ready for the first item? Shirley, mute yourself. Unmute. When I don't want Shirley to respond, then I have to ask it to mute itself. And since, since I said the word M-U-T-E, it might um, un-M-U-T-E. But it didn't, so we're good to go. All right. Um, unmute. Ah, uh, shucks. Mute. Stand. Unmute. Mute. Ready for the first item? Mute yourself. Unmute. Okay. Remember, Shirley's still learning. So, so and so as I was saying, I'm not sure whether what I say in this session is gonna um, go somewhere where it will actually be incorporated. But hopefully, um, the developers might take a look at this and, um, and make it even better. But I digress again. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started. All right, so. Unmute. 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 So we're gonna use the following categories broadly. Number one, electrical startup. Number two, Preliminary pre-flight, number three, pre-flight procedure, number four, before start procedure, number 4A, before start procedure checklist, number five, engine start, number six, before taxi, number 6A, before taxi checklist, number seven, before takeoff procedure, number seven A, before takeoff procedure checklist. And, Ready? and then we're gonna stop. Uh, that's as far as we're gonna go today. Got it? Under Roger that. Ready, Ready for, for electrical, electrical startup? startup? Ready for electrical startup, I am. First item, battery switch to on. Mute yourself. Okay, so. On me. So, anything that I say is gonna probably, depending on what I say, it might cause Shirley to go to the, to the next item and that's not what I want, so I'm going to go, I'm not going to be saying a whole lot between, um, as we go through this, this, these procedures. All right, unmute. Unmute. Check. Next item, standby power switch to auto. Standby power switch to auto. 
Check. Check. Next item, hydraulic pumps to off. Check. Next item, landing gear lever to down. Check. Next item, flap lever to youp. Repeat that, please. Flap lever to UP. Check. Next item, parking brake set. Check. Next item, verify electrical power available. Check. Next item, external power switch to on if available. Check. Next item, APU switch to on. Check. Next item, APU generator switch to on. Check. Next item, uh, wait, IRS... Mo wait a minute, I think I went... I think I, um, no I didn't, problem. I didn't, I didn't get the APU time to start up. So let's, um, give me a, a moment. Roger that. Let me know when you're ready to continue. Mute yourself. Unmute. Now, a lot of times Shirley would say, let me know when you're ready to continue. And I find that if I respond, then it will take that as I'm ready to continue. So if I'd have said, um, Roger that, then it may have taken, it may have taken that to mean that I'm ready to continue. So when it says something like that, then from experience of going through this before, I know that I, I don't want to say anything. All right. Unmute. 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 APU is started up. Next item. APU generator switch to on. APU generator switch to on. Next item. APU bleed air switch to on. Check. Next item, verify electrical power from APU. Check. Electrical startup complete. Ready for preliminary pre-flight? Ready for prelim preliminary pre-flight. First item, IRS mode selectors to NAV. Check. Next item, emergency exit lights to arm. Check. Next item, window heat switches to on. Shirley, you are awesome. Thank you. Window heat switches to on. Check. Next item. Probe heat switches to auto. Shirley, where would I find the probe heat switch? Probe heat switches are on the overhead panel near the window heat switches. And let me mute my telephone. Roger that.
you say the probe switch is is by the one the heat. Okay. Check. Next item, yaw damper switch to on. Check. Next item, fuel pumps to on. Check. Next item, verify fuel quantity. Where would I find the fuel quantity to verify? Fuel, quan fuel quantity is displayed on the upper center panel near the engine instruments. I still can't find it. Can you be more specific? Look for the fuel gauges on the overhead panel near the center. On the overhead panel? Okay, I see the fuel gauge. Uh, well, the fuel gauges on the overhead panel. Now, I'm in the NG. I'm in the, eight, the 737 800 NG, and it, there are no fuel panels on the overhead uh, fuel My gauge. mistake. Yeah. My mistake. The fuel quantity is on the main instrument panel, lower center, near the engine displays. Oh, okay, I found it. It's right there to the left of the gear lever and that center panel. Is that right? Correct. Verify fuel quantity there. 14,100 pounds. Check. Preliminary pre-flight complete. Ready for pre-flight procedure? Ready for pre-flight procedure. First item, oxygen. First item, oxygen test and set. Test at 100%, check. Next item, flight instruments, check. How do I check the flight instruments? Verify attitude indicator, altimeter, airspeed indicator, and heading indicator are functioning correctly. Wait, wait, wait. You asked me um, to check the flight instruments, and I asked you how do I do that, and then you told me to verify some stuff. So can you slow up and, and walk me through that? Sure thing. Let's start with the attitude indicator. Verify it's showing level flight. Okay. I think Next it is. Check. check. Next, check. Next, verify the altimeter is set to the correct altitude. Okay. Um, I don't know what the altimeter for this airport is. How would I figure that out? I can look up the current weather for you. What's the ICAO code of your airport? I'm at Memphis International. I think it's um, Mike Elko Mike. I couldn't find it. Let's try KMM for Memphis International. KMM weather. Few clouds at 6,500 feet, wind 330 at 6 knots. Altimeter 29.89 inches mercury. Okay, so I found the altimeter knob and I'm setting the altimeter to 29.89. Check. Next, verify the airspeed indicator is functioning. Okay, my airspeed tape is set at 45 knots, but I'm sitting on the ground. So how would I check to see if it's functioning? Good point. On the ground, ensure the airspeed indicator reads zero or close to it. If it shows a significant reading, there might be an issue. Now, this one showing 45 knots, and I think it I think in the 737, the airspeed tape does not come alive until you reach 45 knots. So I think it's correct. Got it. 
That sounds correct for the 737. Check. Check. Next, verify the heading indicator matches the magnetic compass. Okay, I don't have heading information. I think I have to put something in on my initial reference position to get a hit to get a magnetic heading is that right correct enter your initial reference position into the irs to align it and get heading information okay let me know when you're ready to continue now check pre-flight instruments verified next item wait you pre-flight wait a minute I'm actually, I actually said now, but I'm not ready. So let's back up. I'm actually in the process of entering the IRS position. Understood. Take your time to enter the IRS position. Mute yourself, Shirley. Unmute. So if if I didn't know what to do, I could just continue asking Shirley to help me drill down to until I until we figured out exactly what we want to do. In okay. case, correct. So. Unmute. 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 So now I've got a magnetic head, and you want me to verify that against my whiskey compass? Correct. Verify the heading indicator matches the magnetic compass. Six on the magnetic compass, and looks like I got two eight eight on the heading. So I got looks a slight like deviation. A slight deviation is normal, as long as it's within a few degrees, you're good. Check. Well, I got a big deviation to be honest with you. I've got um. 288 on the heading and three looks like three 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 six on the magnetic compass is that close enough that's a significant deviation you may need to realign the irs or check for any errors in the initial reference position okay I would ask you to help me with that, but I'm not going to wait till the IRS is realigned. So for the sake of this exercise, we're just going to keep going. So I'm going to say check. Roger that. Next item, CDU preflight. CDU preflight. First, enter the flight plan into the CDU. Mute yourself. Unmute. So I didn't do a flight plan, so I'm just going to put some stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Actually, did I finish my... Yeah, just going to hit route here. Well, I need to do a reference airport. K. Uh, Memphis... Memphis, okay. And then route, it should know Memphis from that. And then we are just say K A T L, which is Atlanta. And for the purpose of this flight, 
plan let's just do a departure and an arrival uh, so let's depart um, and I'm just gonna pick one the Binky 6 on runway let's see what was our wins Shirley gave us our wins before I think it was 3-3 three, three something so let's just depart runway uh, let's see if we got more uh, 36 center and unmute and we will um, yeah and then let's see so using 36 center and then for an arrival um, uh, we just pick an arrival I, I'm not going to look at anything and I don't know the weather for Atlanta, but uh, but let's just say we coming in zero nine left. Okay, but that's our flight flight plan. Okay, and check. And we and we we'll activate that. Check. Next item: set V speeds on the CDU. Okay, mute the self, Shirley. And um, so, yeah. Unmute. Okay, so I know the next item is going to be enter the V speeds, but we can't enter V speeds unless we walk through this perf initiate this perf stuff. Um, so let's put um, two two five. Uh, Correct. Enter the performance data first. Okay, so Shirley does not, I see you do not want, I see you do not like staying on mute or you think you keep hearing me say the keywords to unmute you. Understood. I'll stay muted until you need me. Okay, and you know that I need you when I say the word unmute. So uh, since I didn't do a flight plan, then uh, it's really hard to figure out, put this stuff. But I'm going to say the plane is 123,000, uh, clear, um, zero, zero, let's get, uh, let's say 251, um, well, I think what I need to do is put in the zero fuel weight and it'll calculate the gross weight. Now, of course, if this was my first time doing this, I wouldn't know this stuff. And I could ask Shirley to walk me through each piece of it. But in the interest of time, I don't want to do that. So, um, so I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go here. Um, take fuel Unmute. weight. Mute yourself. Unmute. So I think that after a minute or two, Shirley times out and come off of mute. I'm not sure. Um, Unmute. 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 Mute yourself. Unmute. Okay, so actually we're not going to do a flight. So since I'm not going to do a flight, I'm not even going to worry about the, um, the CDU. So I'm just going to go ahead on to the next thing, with, which it won't is B speeds. Um, so we do know we're going to do a flouts five. And, um, and we're going to do... Um, Let's say the center of gravity was 25%, and 140 is V1, 141 is V rotate, and V2 is 148. Now, ready for pre flight procedure. Now, that, 
just heard my co-pilot Lunda say that, and um, so just ignore her. Um, I'm not really using the co-pilot. Uh, that's. I don't want to get you guys confused, but anyway, um, just ignore the ignore the the female voice you just heard. All right. So where were we? We were on. Um, so we got our V speeds in. Unmute. Unmute. I've got my V speed set. I got V1 at 140, V rotate at 141, and V2 at 148. Check. Next item set trim for takeoff. Set trim for takeoff. Okay, and trim, we'll set that to 5.2 units. Check. Check. Next item, verify CDU pre-flight complete. Complete. Check. Next item, rudder and aileron trim set to zero. Check. Next item, flight control check. How do I check the flight controls? Move the yoke and rud. Dear pedals through their full range of motion. Verify control surfaces respond correctly. Well, I know that, Shirley. What I'm looking, what I'm asking for is, is there some, some place that I can look at on the panel that will show me that they're working because I can't look out the window and see them. Check the flight control synoptic on the lower display unit. It shows control surface positions. I don't see anything that says flight control. Can you walk me to get into it? Sure. On the lower display unit, press the S-West button to access system synoptics. Then select FLTCTRL for flight controls. Pre okay, a little bit slower. Press what button to get me to press what button? Press the SWIS button on the lower display unit. Then select FLTCTRL for flight controls. Is that the button um, that says SYS that you want me to press? Correct. Press the button labeled SYS. Okay. Oh, cool. I see uh, something that says hydraulic brake temp and uh, aileron flight spoiler. So I think that's the, the screen. Okay. Now I can do my, I can do that, that flight check that you wanted me to do. Great. Perform the flight control check and verify all surfaces respond correctly. Check. Next item, verify navigation radios and instruments set. ATIS is 127.75. Ground for the runway that we're using is 121.9. And tower for the runway we're using, which is 836 uh, center, is going to be 119.7. Check. 
Next item, set autopilot and flight director as needed. I'm a little bit slow setting up the radio, so give me an extra minute. Roger that. Take your time. Radio set, check. Next item, set autopilot and flight director is needed. So that's the, um, I think that's called the MCP that you want me to set up. Correct. Set up the mode control panel, MCP, for autopilot and flight director. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to continue. Check. Pre-flight procedure complete. Ready for before start procedure? Let me do a pushback. Roger that. Let me know when you're ready to continue. Well, uh, let's say, yeah, uh, I need to do a pushback. Understood. Perform the pushback, then we'll continue with the before start procedure. Can we do the before start procedure while I'm being pushed back? Yes, we can. Ready for the first item? One moment, please. Roger that. Out of cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Understood. Let me know when you're ready to continue. Mute yourself. Unmute. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. So I'm just checking over our work. We did not set the, the pressure, but we didn't do a flight plan either. So Shirley has no idea. Unmute. Okay, so I was telling the people that you have no idea where we're going. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Unless I tell you where we're going. And we're at Memphis and we're going to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, K-A-T-L. Ah, uh, snap. It disconnected. So, so this can happen. Um, you can get disconnected in the middle of a call. So, I'm going to restart the call. So, connected and bypass. The plane teammate is up. Mic check when ready. Mic check. Surely back in a Boeing 737. 800 ready to assist okay Shirley so we were doing a a session and we got disconnected can is there any way you can recall that previous session and we can pick up from where we left off unfortunately I can't recall previous sessions let's start fresh what's our current status well 
we've done so much work that I don't want to start fresh. So let me try to bring you up to speed. So we are getting the 737 NG, uh, the 737-800-NG jet ready for pushback. So far, we've, um, we've done the electrical startup, the preliminary pre-flight, the pre-flight procedure, the before start procedure, and the before start checklist. We are right here at engine start. Now, the way that you have been helping me is you have been giving me one item to do at a time, and when I accomplish that item, I say check, and you would generally prompt me for the next item. Got it? Got it. Let's continue with the engine start procedure. First item, set parking brake. Say check when done. Check. Next, start APU and wait for it to stay parked. APU is started. Check. Turn on APU bleeding. Okay, so we've done all that. Right now, we've, we've got the airplane configured and we're ready for engine start. Understood. Let's proceed with engine start. Set okay. engine start switch to GRD for engine one. Roger. Monitor N2 to 25%, then introduce fuel by setting engine one start lever to idle. I don't see the NG on the display. I see hydraulic and brake temp. Um, so I think if I hit engine, I will see it. Okay, N2 is 25. Check. Set engine one, start lever to ID. Set engine one, start lever to what? Idle? Correct. Set engine one, start lever to idle. Roger, check. Monitor engine one for stable idle. Once stabilized, repeat for engine two. Set okay. start switch to GRD. Okay, I'm sorry, I started engine two first. No problem. Let's continue with engine one. Set start switch to GRD for engine one. Check. Monitor N2 to 25%, then introduce fuel by setting engine one start lever to idle. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Great. Bo Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Roger. Standing by. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. No worries. Let's proceed. What's next on your checklist? Okay, so we got um, good engine starts. Now, the next thing on my checklist is going to be um, before taxi procedure. Great. First item for before taxi. Set generators to on. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the Understood. left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Disregard that transmission. Copy that. Let's continue. Set generators to on. Check. Next, set probe heat to on. Check. Set anti-ice as required. Check. Next, set air conditioning packs to auto. Check. Set isolation valve to auto. 
Check. Set APU bleed air to off. Check. Set engine start switches to con. Check. Set flaps for takeoff. Check. Perform flight control check. Should I hit the S Y S button again? Yes, hit the S Y S button to display flight control. Check. Verify flight controls, ailerons, elevators, and rudder. Check. Set trim for takeoff. Check. Before taxi checklist complete. Ready to taxi? Ready to taxi. Release parking brake and call for taxi clearance. Okay, I got the clearance and I am taxiing via the instructions they gave me to the runway. Taxi lights. Roger. Horizontal Mute. stabilizer trimmer. Not Roger that. Take Monitor speed and. Mute yourself. Roger, Jacob. Mute yourself. Okay, so. Um, again, I'm not planning to do a flight. I'm just showing you how cool Shirley is and how helpful it can be to uh, to get me going if uh, if I'm trying to learn how to fly the 737 NG, uh, I want to say 737 NG 800, the 737-800 NG. So never mind that I'm just going to the closest runway and I may even go to an intersection if well I can taxi really fast and get us our, get ourselves up there. Caution on taxi on taxi Unmute. Unmuted and ready to assist. Let me know when you're ready for the next step. I am in the process of taxiing to the um, runway. Roger that. Taxi safely. Let me know when you're ready for takeoff procedures. Roger that. Standing by. Another thing that you guys ought to know is that Shirley is going to get the last word in 95% of the time. Roger that. Ready for takeoff when you are. Approaching zero nine. Standing by for your next command. Uh, I think I missed the top of the runway. I, well, we'll do an intersection here. Roger. Intersection Approaching takeoff it one, is. Eight. Ready for takeoff Center. procedures when you are. Okay. Ready for takeoff procedures? Before takeoff procedure. Roger. First item, set takeoff flaps. Set. Check. Approaching Verify takeoff zero, speeds. V1, nine. VR, V2 are set. Check. Set transponder to Taro. On runway two, seven, three, Roger. Set transponder to Tia Ray. Set transponder. Uh, hold on, hold on. Give me a sec. Let me check. Let me set my transponder. You say T R A, T R A, um, R A, T R A, R A. Check. Check. Set landing lights to on. 
check. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready for takeoff? Ready for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. Advanced throttles to 40% N1, then tow GA. On runway zero. So, nine. how do I use the auto throttle? Engage auto throttle by pressing the TOGA button on the throttle quadrant. What about the A slash T arm button? Do I have to do anything with that? Yes, arm the auto throttle by pressing the AT arm button first, then press two GA. Okay, actually, my mistake, it's a toggle. So I'm gonna toggle it to on. Okay, Roger so. That. Toggle AT arm to on, then press two GA. Okay, so you say go to 40%. Um, one moment, please. Roger. Standing by. Okay, so you say go to 40%. Correct. Advance throttles to 40% and one, then press to GA. On runway okay. zero, nine. On runway Ready zero, Ready when you are. Nine. And... I am Rottles to I am on my taxi roll. I mean my takeoff roll when I my auto throttle just kicked off, so I'm giving it throttle manually. And manual advanced throttle takeoff. Rotated VR. So, we are up. We are airborne. Congratulations. Gear up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shirley. You're welcome. And... Welcome. Acceleration altitude. And with that, I am going to end this video. I really want to give you a an idea guys how helpful Shirley can be um, Shirley I appreciate your help and Have it. and until next time glad to help until next time safe flying so I ended the call with Shirley let me get my sim hack that butt kicker stuff off the screen and yeah so um, so yeah, that you know, I could continue with Shirley all the way through the end of the flight, or, um, but you know, you get the idea, and that's primarily what I want to share with you. So, again, guys, until next time. Y'all come back now, dear. Yeah.